Jamie, thank you very much. I appreciate that. What you're saying is really resonating across the board, dog. Across the board. And before the thank break, you. we'll talk about the five things, five questions. Yes, every human being on earth is motivated by five questions. The man sleeping under the bridge on a piece of cardboard or the man living in an ivory tower, they both are trying to answer the same five questions. First question, who am I? Second question, where am I from? Third question, why am I here? Fourth question, what can I do? And the fifth question, where am I going? The first question deals with identity. And the average human being has never answered the question, who am I? I didn't say what you did. Sometimes I ask people, who are you? And they say, I'm a nurse. And I say, no, that's what you do. Who are you? It's, an, it's a revelation of, of your essence, of your person. Most people never know who they are, so they die as someone else. Second question, where am I from? People think of that as an et uh, ethnic question, ethnicity, you know, I'm, I'm from Africa, I'm from Asia, I'm from China, I'm from whatever, Europe. No, what I mean is where are you from with regards to your creation? If you think you're from a monkey through evolution, then that's how much value you put on yourself. If you don't know where you're from, you'll never know what you are made of, what your qualities are, what your ability are. This bench we're sitting on, you call it a bench. Mm -hmm. It's actually a tree. Correct. It is, how strong is this branch? It's as strong as the tree it came from. So the source determines what something is and what it could do. How much weight can this bench carry? It depends on the strength of the tree. So if you can find out where you came from, you also find out your ability, your strength, and your potential. Third question, why am I here? It's a question of purpose. Why do I exist? Why was I conceived in my mother's womb? What did I come to earth to do? Did I come to earth just to go to work and pay bills and die? It's gotta be more to life than just going to work, paying bills, retiring and die. This is a lousy life. If that's all you're gonna live for, there's gotta be a purpose for your existence. Fourth question. What can I do? What is my true ability? The average human only uses 10% of their brain, they say. So to be a genius, all you got to use is 11%. So, so I decided that before I die, I want to use, use at least 25% of my brain. So I'm working hard at that. But no one knows your ability except the manufacturer. So never allow anyone to judge you based on their measurements or even their tests. Mr. Robinson, in his class, I was an F student, but I finally figured out I wasn't a bad student, he was a bad teacher. Mm. Sometimes the problem is the teacher, not the student. The teacher couldn't teach, so the student could not become. So I had to become my own teacher, and I exposed my own ability, my own potential. The last question, where am I going, is a question of destiny. Yeah. No one was just born just to die. You were born to fulfill an assignment. And your assignment is already trapped on the inside. And there's a story of a man who actually had a farm in Texas, and he heard about them discovering gold and oil out in California. He went and sold his farm for thirty-eight thousand dollars back in nineteen in, in the sixteen sixteen ninety-four. And the guy who bought his farm for thirty-eight thousand U.S. dollars, very cheap farm, he gave him the money. The guy went. He bought some donkeys. He bought some pickaxes, some shovels. He went out to California looking for oil, looking for gold, looking for you know, all the wealth, pursuing his fortune, he says. Three months later, the man who bought his farm began to dig for water. Up comes oil. Mm. When the report got to California, the guy who sold the farm was on a donkey, read the paper, fell off his horse, and died <laughs> from heart attack. Yeah. Because he realized that the farm he sold had the oil he was looking for. All along. My point is this. What you're looking for is right where you are all the time. You don't got to leave Kenya to become great. It's right in Kenya. That's right. Some of you dream, if I can get to, to, to Great Britain, I'll be successful. No. Success is right here in Kenya. Yeah. 